Now, it works 75. Can you see 75 north of east? So we have it to be north of east here. That's 75. But don't forget the distance it works is 4,000 meters. Now, so that means it's going to towards this, but it's coming 2,500 towards this side. Now, now that's it. At this point, she discovers a forest ranger to her. Now, ask us to, to calculate the magnitude and direction of the total displacement. Now, you can see that we need to resolve this. Number one is that the resultant of this, the resultant of this, don't forget, we are going to divide this into two. The distance, we are given distance, and we have x for the horizontal. And we have y for the vertical axis. Now, if you see, we have to resolve the f each of these into horizontal and the vertical axis. For the first one, we have 2,500 meters. Now, 2,500 meters that we have here is coming towards this. So, if we want to resolve this, we have to resolve it like this and like this. Check the direction. So you cannot take it to this because it's not going backward. It's going towards this side. But we check it is coming towards down. Now, don't forget I said anywhere there is theta, you have it to be cos. And anywhere there is no theta, you have it to be sine. But check this. There is theta at both sides. So you can take it to be cos or sine because I proved it to you that sine 45 is the same thing as cos 45. So it will give you the same thing. But stick to the principle. We have this to be 2,500 cos 45 and this side as well to be 2,500 cos 45 so you can have the two to be cos or was or sign because it is southeast so it is at the middle now coming to this so it's going like this so if you want to resolve this we solve it like this and towards this because don't forget the direction is very very important you cannot take this vertical to be like this because it's not coming downward it's going upward and you cannot take this horizontal to be to face this direction because the direction is not facing here, it's going towards this side. Now, if you now check this side, this is a side that has the theta. So this side will now be 4,000, then cos 75. And this side will now be 4,000 sine 75. Don't forget, there is no theta here. So that's why this one is taking sine and this one is taking cos. Now, let us remember the quadrant. We have the positive y here, we have the negative y here. We have positive x here, we have negative x here. Now let us resolve this. Coming to this, we have 2,500. The horizontal component of this 2,500 is this side. But if we check it, does it fall to negative x as is or positive x? Uh, sorry, does it fall to positive x as is or negative x as is? If you check it very well, it falls to uh, positive x as is. Don't forget. We have positive here, we have negative here. So it falls to positive x axis. And what is the value for it? That's 2500 cos 45. Now, for the vertical component of this, the vertical is this side. And when you check the vertical very well, the vertical does it fall to negative y or positive y? When you check this very well, it falls to the negative y axis. Because this is it. It falls to negative y axis. So that's why this one will take minus 2,500 cos 45. Now let us resolve the second one. The second one is 4,000 meter. Now the 4,000 meter, if you check it very well, we have the horizontal component of the 4,000 meter to be here. And when you check it, does it fall to positive x or negative x? This is a positive, this is a negative. So it falls to what? It falls to the positive. And what's the value? And that's why it is 4,000, then cos 75. And for the, for the vertical, there's a vertical axis of this. Now this vertical axis, does it fall to the positive or negative? You can see that it falls to the positive axis. And that is why it is 4,000, but that one is sine. So that's 4,000 sine. 75. Now let us do summation of this. Now, what is the summation of x? 
what is summation of y now if you press the calculator we just have to sum all these x together and then all this y together for the x we have it to be 2500 cos 45 then plus 4000 cos 75 when press the cos 2 you have this to be 2803.04 now let us press for the y-axis, we have it to be minus 2,500 cos 45 plus 4,000 sine 75. We have the, this one is 2095.94.94. Now this is the value here. Now, if you don't check this very well, if you check this very well, we now have the resultant of this vector to be square root of, don't forget the formula, summation x, all square, then plus into bracket summation y, all square. And this becomes square root of, don't forget your summation x is 2803.04, so all square, then plus 2095.94, all square and let us find the correct answer so let's press this on the calculator we have square root of into bracket 2803.04 square plus into bracket 2095.94 plus bracket square we check it very well we don't make any mistake then press equals to now the final answer here is 3499 points. Now if you see this variable, we have to approximate this because the final answer here will now be 4000. So that means we have it to be 4000 meter. Now if you have this to be 4000 meter, but what will now be the direction? Don't forget the formula for the direction. Theta is equal to tan inverse of summation y over summation x. And this becomes tan inverse of your summation x is and uh, summation y is 2095.94. Then all over your summation x is 2803.04. Then let's press equals to what is the value for this? Now let's press it on the calculator. We have shift time. I press the fraction button. That's 2095.94. Come to your denominator, we have 2803.04, then close the bracket, we have equals to, and the direction to this is 36.79 degree. Now this is the direction to the world, to the question, and the magnitude is 4000 meter. Now this is the second question. Now let us quickly examine the third question under this vector analysis. Now, the question says, now I believe you should be able to solve this by yourself. Now this question says, in order to avoid an early morning rush at the door of a physics lecture room, a student decides to take a road free of obstruction by walking five meter at 37 degree north of east. Now, let us see. If you see this, don't forget you have north here, south, east, and west. We have to be 35 meter at 37 north of east. So that means the distance, the direction is between north and east. We now have it to be 37 degree north of east. I told you that it's going, the, 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 the direction is going to end at the last statement. And the last statement here is east so that means it's going to end here and that's why we have 37 degree here so 37 north of east so it's moving like this and this is what five meter so five meter at 37 north of east and then and then 10 meter at so that means from here still move 10 meter at 60 west of north west of north don't forget we have north south 
east and west west of north so that means we have to take it like this west of north west of north so this is 10 meter so it moves like this but this is 10 meter but at west of north so that means it's going to end at the what at the north so that means this is in north so and we have it to be 60 degree here 60 degree west of north now now ask us to calculate the magnitude and direction so that means we have to resolve this this one that is going like this we solve it like this vertically like this and horizontal like this and this one is going to this so we solve it like this and we solve it like this check it very well now but don't forget this one that is going like this so this is where you have your theta so, uh, this will now be 5 so where we have the theta will now be cos that's cos 37 but here we don't have the theta here we don't have the theta here so this will now be 5 sine 37 for this one for this 10 meter here 10 meter is going like this this is where you have your theta and this one will now be 10 cos what is the angle here that's 60 and you don't have the theta here so this will now be 10 sine 60 let us go the, to the table now we get to the table we are given the distance so we have the distance and what do you have here we have the x component we have the y component don't forget the horizontal and the what and the vertical now for the first one here for the first one we have five meter now when we solve this five meter into vertical and horizontal if we check very well the horizontal component of it is here but don't forget you have the positive y axis here negative y axis positive x axis negative x axis if we check for the five meter here this is the horizontal axis is this horizontal axis belongs to positive x or negative x it belongs to what to the positive x that's why it will take plus and that's why it is plus 5 cos 37. But for the vertical axis here, the vertical axis, is it at the positive y or negative y? Is at the positive y. And that's why it is plus sine 37. And the other one, which is 10 meter here. So we have the 10 meter. The 10 meter to the negative, uh, to, the, to the horizontal aspect. Now this is the horizontal, this is the vertical. Now for the horizontal, we have it to be 10 sine 60. But if you check it very well, this horizontal here, does it fall to the negative axis or the positive? Because this is the x axis of the, uh, the negative x axis, and this is the positive x axis. If you check it very well, it belongs to this side, which is the what? The negative x axis. So that's why this one for the horizontal here will not be, it will not take minus. So that's why we have it to be minus 10, then sine 60. And if you check this other one, there's a vertical. Does it belong to the positive y or negative y? If you check, it belongs to the top, which is the positive y. And that's why it's mean plus. So that's why we have it to be plus 10, then cos what? Cos 60. So let's sum. Let's find the summation. Summation of x and the summation of y. Now what's the summation x here? The summation x here, let's sum it together. We have 5. Then cos 37. Then close the bracket. Plus. The other one is what? Minus 10. Sine 60. Close the bracket of 60. Then close the bracket when you open the word, the minus. The press equals to this one is minus 4.67. Minus 4.67. Approximately. Minus 4.67. And press equals to. Let's go to the second one. We have 5 sine 37. Plus. We have 10 cos 60. Press equals to. This one is 8.01. 8.01. Then let us find the resultant of this vector. Of this distance. So we have R to be square root of summation x squared. Summation x or square. Again, we have r to be square root of that's 
summation x all square then plus summation y all square then i will now be square root of 